Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid S Super. <laughs> I was gonna say Metroid Prime because I actually did, well not did, I'm as we speak downloading the Metroid Prime Trilogy from the, on the Wii U Virtual Console, and that's uh, that's awfully keen, I must say. I'm looking forward to that. I played all, I'm a huge Metroid fan if it wasn't apparent from the fact of, from my uh, Let's Play selection choice. But I really died loves me some Super um, Super Metroid. <laughs> I'm not saying the game right that I want to say, and I love me some Prime. The Metroid series as a whole is just swell. But before then, right now we're in the sunken ship, or rather um, the wrecked ship. I guess you know. I guess some it, it it's just wrecked, not sunken. And I suppose some of this ship actually isn't in fact submerged so but before I get into semantics of that I want to shoot this door you can only actually um leave this room if you kill all the enemies inside and you'd have to do that twice if it wasn't for the fact that I shot the door right now but because I shot the door when we actually go back into the room and want to go into that door later we won't have to re-kill all the enemies and it will be nice because we don't want to re-kill all those enemies because that takes time and time unlike the Joker is not the one thing I've got. Is that a quote of his? I'm just assuming it is because I've heard it, I don't know, in like a robot chicken reference or something? I have no idea. But here we got uh, missiles. <laughs> Great, very good prize for having to push these uh, robot thingies to their dooms and the spikes will just be laying for eternity. Luckily they don't get hurt by spikes. But that still must be a shit life. <laughs> I'm betting they're not glad they got repowered soon. They're they're alive only to live eternally in that um <laughs> in those pits. How horrible. But as as I've stated before, because we killed all the uh because we shot that door previously, that door is now open. But I don't think there's anything we have to do in here. <laughs> and <laughs> that, that that that's um that was just nothing, but Speaking of nothing or something, I was supposed to shine spark over here. You want to actually build up a shine spark. And you want to shine just right here about? Yes. Aim down and shoot and you can get these missiles. The normal way you're supposed to get these missiles is to like do these like whole platforming segment thing with those guys and that's just a pain and we don't want any of that so we won't be doing any of that. We will instead be doing a shine spark which is always fun and nice and dandy. But she, speaking of Shine Sparks, uh, recently I, I was just watching a a playthrough of Super Metroid for the awesome day, awesome games done quick, and might I add, it was in fact awesome and done quick, and uh, it was really cool. That's I guess there that's all there is to oh my gosh, why do I keep on doing this? That's all there is to that. But I did there was some cool tricks I learned, not learned, I saw and attempted to learn and realize that I do not nearly possess the skill level required to actually execute said tricks and it made me very sad in life because it's uh it's 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 just it's depressing like for example here if, there's a thing called the stutter step and I already know I didn't do it right but um basically the way shine sparking works is it checks a very very specific frame of Samus's um running animation in order to actually if, if you're like holding down the run button I think it's like four times um, for four cycles during that a uh, very very specific frame of your running animation it starts the it will start the speed boost however if you're pressing the run button only during those frames then you can actually do the shine um, you can actually activate the speed boost in less space than before and you couple it with the fact that if you just like if you tap the direction in which you're running and then let go and then tap again um, you'll start at the very frame that counts for the speed boosting so you can actually get a speed boost in a really a lot less distance than they intended you to do which you can do for some pretty cool things the, the, the sad part there is I just flat out cannot do said cool things because that as you might imagine finding the timing on like you know a very specific frame is actually rather difficult so I mean I could do it at half speed <laughs> but that's you know there's a difference between half speed and full speed and I just gotta admire like I absolutely admire speedrunners to like be able to pull stuff like that off like most of these tricks it saves maybe like just a few seconds like maybe like one or two or ten seconds maybe a minute at the most and that, that would be crazy but like 
Not that, like, certainly not as much time as they actually spend practicing the trick. Like, you're gonna be practicing these tricks for hours just to do, like, a, a small little thing that does maybe, like, you know, saves 10 seconds. But the, the fact that remains that they, they do that, they, like, you know, dedicate the time to learning, mastering these tricks, and then they do save those seconds, and, like, you know, they do a couple hundred times and it piles up, and then all of a sudden they're doing games much, much, much faster than anyone else can. And it's ridiculous, and you gotta, gotta love it. But, more to the point, we now have the gravity suit, so now water is our bitch. Which, I wouldn't have it any other way, because I hate water. But now that we're in water, water no longer affects us in the horrible, horrible way that it once did. It's pretty much just like any other normal air. And lava, for that matter. Um, if we actually step in lava, we actually won't get hurt by it. There are types of super lava, or acid, or whatever it is, that still hurt us, but most lava like the lava of Norfair, we can actually now traverse through, which is nice. And keen, and I missed it, but who cares, because now we can wall jump underwater. I don't think we actually could have done that before. I think, like, if you tried to wall jump underwater, you just, like, couldn't ascend. Like, you could push off the wall, but you couldn't ascend. But that, that just sucks. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. But now that we got the gravity suit, we could actually head into the water level. Isn't that exciting? But first and foremost, I'm going to recharge my ship just because I kind of like having health, you know? It's a fun thing to be doing. You know, I just kind of, I, I like, because again, this is kind of like a casual run of this game, I just recharge the ship whenever I'm at the ship, and I'd always probably do that, but like, I never think about it, but like, in, in speedruns and the like, they don't do this, this is a waste of time, so health management is actually a missile management for that. I never like think of missile management, but stuff like that. They actually have to think about and like consciously worry about a lot, and that's just weird. I never have to think about this. But uh, one trick I did learn: you stand here, aim down, shoot, and immediately I'm supposed to be holding the run button. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, shoot, and then immediately hold right, and you can hear a door opening. But that's not this door. That's a door. What 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 just happened right there? Is that um, it opened up this door. The the whole shot wrapped around the entire map, opened up that door. And now we can actually sign spark and do this cool thing, and ah. Uh, Ah, oh, the satisfaction. <laughs> you know, that that's one that's the one trick I've actually learned from watching that speedrun and I absolutely dig it. Because that's cool. That saves a bunch of time. Normally you'd have to um well, for one thing, either use a power up that we don't quite have yet to actually break these things, or we had to manually super miss um power bomb them. And that's a, as you can see right here, is a very slow process and we only had to do it like three times, but if you did it over there, you'd have to be doing it a ton, and that wouldn't be fun at all. But important, very important to notice, when you actually get into this room, jump and shoot, and don't actually shoot the bottom. What you want to do is you want to be standing exactly here, and then shoot down, and then start aiming down and shooting like a madman, and then shooting like a madman in the other direction, because what happens is, what this, what the game, like, kind of, is implying here is that it's a one it's like it's what they want you to do is get like it's either one or the other you're getting the missiles on the left or the missiles on the right and they have a uh, crumble blocks to prevent you from going both ways and which is absolutely cruel however if you stand in the dead center of those crumble blocks then you can actually get both prizes and not have to backtrack here later which is just a godsend because again not fun to do Saves us some time and makes me a happy person because I honestly have, I generally have fun when I do perform tricks like this. It's like, you know, not just for the fact that you're like saving time, but just for the fact that it, it's cool doing cool stuff. That's just the gist of it. Like you want to do like cool ass combos in video games just for the fun of doing it. But uh, before we actually go to the next area, we actually do have some backtracking to do, but luckily because... Well, I didn't say it, uh, luckily we're here in Bridstar, but there's still stuff we have to do in Bridstar, so it's not like it's a complete waste of time. For example, we never had super bombs before here, so now I can actually go down here and get the spoils that are whatever in here. Uh, there was nothing to the left of the, like in those left, those left rooms, there was nothing in those rooms, so you didn't have to worry about that. In this room you want to be very careful, because there actually is an invisible pit. Well, that you'll that uh you will fall into if you're not actually looking out for it. If you actually use the X-ray visor, you can see it there. Very very cruel indeed. <laughs> Keeps you from getting the spoils, and these are actually really cool spoils. Super missiles, which are like you know, there's only ten of those 
in the game. It's 10 of those expansions in the game and a health tank. So after this part, health is no longer probably going to be an issue ever again because, well, maybe it will, depending on my performance of how well I play this game. But it's never going to be like how it was during Fantoon's boss fight where like, oh gosh, like I'm super genuine, genuinely worried about whether or not I'm going to die. And these monkeys are going to teach us how to wall jump, but we have known how to wall jump since day one, so we don't need no monkey's help. What was I saying before? But, yes, something. Something or other. One thing I cool that I saw from the speedrun, saw, probably can't do, is that if you actually mock ball... Yeah, I didn't do it. Definitely didn't do it. I was practicing this, and I actually did get this one down, but not consistently. But if you actually mock ball, you can actually have enough speed to not fall back into the pit and you save yourself a couple seconds and I thought that was really nifty. I really kind of wanted to get it down for this uh, playthrough <laughs> but that, as you can see that totally didn't end up happening but I'm not gonna fret over it. I'm not gonna waste more time attempting it than it will actually save me. Something I've learned while trying to do the speed boosters Sometimes it's just in your nature to shoot. You don't actually want to shoot because what happens more likely more often than not is that you shoot and you actually freeze an enemy, and because that enemy is frozen, it stops you dead in your tracks. And then you're not speed boosting anymore, and that's just not fun. But here we want to go back up here. Again, all these stuff, I don't think we could have gotten before. Like, we needed super missiles to get whatever was back in there. And I do believe we actually do need super missiles to actually open this thing. I'm not sure if super it's actually super missiles, but it... I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure if you use the X-ray visor, you will see that there, in fact, you need super missiles. So, again, this isn't all useless. I, I kind of made it such that, you know, it would be not all useless. So, I'm, I'm liking it. It's not, it's not like, bat, like needless backtracking. We actually are accomplishing things, so it's nice. And down here, you want to go, I think, up here first and foremost. Again... A lot of the energy tanks to be found, actually, are in Brinstar, which is very, very nice indeed. I mean, like, by the end of this part, we're probably gonna, like, double our health from what it once was, which is the funnest thing ever, because I think, in my personal opinion, I think health, like, energy tanks in Metro games are, like, the, like, the best power, like, the most, the most rewarding power-ups to get, I feel. Like, you can get missile tanks, and there's missile tanks everywhere, and those are awesome, but, like... They don't feel as rewarding as finding a missile tank in random place. Uh, not a missile tank, an energy tank in place. And, like, you know, getting expanding your maximum energy. That's just awesome. But yeah, you do need the wave beam to get that. But again, we've had the wave beam for a while now, so no worries there. And I think down here, yes, that we need to power bomb. We don't actually need to power bomb that, but we do need to power bomb this. And we could go down here. I think, uh,. I don't know. I don't know what it is, I think. <laughs> Honestly, there is there is no need for think right now. Just do. You want to open this door. And that will come into uh, reason later. And we also want to shine spark here. And just decimate everything because... Well, not speed boost. Shine spark would be the actual sparky shiny flying through the air thing. I always... <laughs> trouble on semantics there. Always gotta... Uh, you know... Uh, distinguish those two but if you get a shine spark you can actually diagonally shine spark up here and do a cool thing I'm not sure exactly how much that saves but it's cool looking <laughs> so that's all that matters right and we're just totally gonna be one of those like rich assholes and <laughs> use up an entire power bomb just to boost us up a little bit because we can afford it but Oh we, yes we're going where, where, where are we going I don't know where we're going we're going down here we're going to those two when I first played this game, this part, I absolutely had I got lost. It's easy to get lost in games like this, but this segment in particular, I got super lost. Because what they kind of intend you, for you to do is, I will admit, kind of cri- Oh, no mock ball there. <laughs> yeah, was, I'm going to backtrack on what I said before and totally retry a trick that has absolutely no purpose whatsoever. And uh, do that, because I don't know. I think that's fun. Oh wow, this this backtrack is much longer than I thought it was actually. We'll actually this actually will be a 15 minute part, which is nice. At least it's not longer. Because I don't know, I think I've saved some time from what I used to do. Oh yeah, we don't even have to worry about this water anymore because, you know, we have the gravity suit. We don't care about no water. 
what was I saying? I totally forgot what I was saying before, but who cares? If I didn't remember it, it's probably not important. <laughs> Unless it totally is. It's probably like the most important thing I would have to ever say in this Let's Play. And I totally just skipped out. Oh yes, this uh, this puzzle confused me to no ends as a kid. You actually have to break this glass, which is just uh, hilarious. <laughs> I like how she looks at the camera, like, oh damn, what did I just do? But yes, you could have done this as soon as you got power bombs, but it would have been absolute hell on earth because this place is the entire. This is the water level. Doesn't this is Meridia? Oh god, looking forward to this. Uh, but anywho, we will be tackling this godforsaken area next time on Let's Play Super Metroid. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.